my children in the world. I love you. Thank you for all you are doing in my name. All my Christians across the earth. Thank you for your love and dedication. For reading my words faithfully, my holy Bible. For coming towards me in prayer and worship. For dedicating your whole life unto me. Thank you, my children. I see your good works. I see your faithfulness. Your desire to spread my words of truth throughout the nation. I see your generosity. For helping my two servants financially. I see this. Thank you. Thank you for your donations to this ministry. Thank you for your prayers and your love. I see your generous hearts. I see your devotion unto my words. I how much you desire to love me. to please me, to be obedient to my will and commands. I see your faithfulness, my children in the world. Come dance with me this day, my children. Come worship in spirit and truth. Come relax. I will provide all of your needs according to my riches in glory. Through Christ Jesus, your Lord, I will not let you go hungry. I will clothe you and heal you and then deliver you and set you free. I want good things for your life, my children. Allah, I do not want to harm you. I want you to experience the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I want you to see my face. To fly with me in paradise. I want you to be free, my children, of all the chains. I know it's hard to let some things go. Some of the sins which bind you. Some sins that make you feel good, give you pleasure. But you know they are wrong. You know they are wrong in my sight. You know they are wrong according to my holy words of truth. Sin doesn't feel bad, my children, all the time. Many sins feel very good. Many sins are pleasing to the flesh. The flesh desires to do things that are against my will. You must be obedient to my word, my children. No matter how hard it is, you must die to self. Do not let the flesh win. If you die to self, your spirit can arise and be free. And what you thought that brought you pleasure is nothing compared to the pleasure your spirit will feel when you saw freely without sin in my heavenly paradise with me. Narabatharaha sin weighs you down, ties you to the earth and is a chain, an anchor for your soul. But when you let these sins go, when you repent and confess these sins before me, when you ask to change, to turn from your wicked ways, suddenly there is new life brought to your spirit and you feel joy and peace and happiness. There is a lightness, a safety, knowing that you can stand before me Forgiven of all your sin, not willfully sinning in my sight, but that you have let it go and that you are walking in righteousness and truth according to my ways and my will. I do have laws and conditions on the earth for right living, my children. 
You cannot do everything you want to do, everything your flesh desires. For a few moments of pleasure, it's not worth your eternal soul. Nanabashiki, do not confess your sins and then continue to do things, my children. There is great sexual sin on the earth at this time and it is not okay. The world has become complacent. Nada, my Christians are too afraid. Allah had to speak forth my words to the nations for fear of condemnation of man. My word is living and active. My word is truth. I did not give my words to the people of the lands and make a mistake. Do not read into my words what you want to see so that you can continue sinning. Amakatara, my word is very clear. Man is for a woman and woman is for man. Lara, there are no exceptions to this rule. No matter how great your desire is. The lusts of the flesh. The sins of man and woman. The desires, the lusts for pleasure. My children, you must die to self this day. Die to the temptations of sin, of lust, of perversion. What are you watching? And they hear the hush you get in the darkness, in the stillness of night. What are you watching? What are you doing, my children? Let her hear where are you going when no one when Karahashi gives no Karahashi no one is watching. Where are you going? Let her Bahahashi get a what are you doing behind closed doors that you think no one can see? I see all my children. I see everything you are doing right now. I see the desires of your heart. I see what's going through your mind. You must have a pure mind before me, a pure heart. And only through the blood of Christ, his sacrifice, my Holy Spirit, which comes and lives within you, can take out all the roots of evil in your life. I can tear out the bitter roots. Pornography, sexual immorality, lusts, greed, hatred, anger, anxieties. I can help you, my children. I can rip up all these bitter roots that dwell within you. But you must give your life to me. You must surrender all and want to change. Most people don't want to change. They are happy with their sin because it feels good for a moment. But then there is an incompleteness, an emptiness in your soul, a depression, a heaviness, a knowing that all you are doing is wrong before your God. Nothing is more important than your eternal soul, my children. Nothing is more important than standing right before me. For one day you will be judged and you will stand before the Lord, Jesus Christ, and your sins will be judged. And if you have not confessed your sins, repented, tried to change, asked me to forgive you, Karabashi, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord, his sacrifice for your sin. You will be cast out of my Krahash paradise. You will be cast out of my sight and you will be separated from your God for eternity. Do not go another day without falling to your knees and confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord. He was the sacrificial lamb. 
He was the Lamb who was slain, the Holy Messiah. Read Isaiah. Let it hear Nahashi, hear Nahashi in the Hebrew Scriptures. Read Isaiah. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Read the Gospels. Do not live upon the earth and not read my Holy Word. Come to know your Lord and Saviour. Come to know my story. From beginning to end, read my holy word and see how I have come down and spoken through men, revealed my plans, brought unto you your Messiah for the forgiveness of your sin and life everlasting. I have not left you without a doctrine for eternal life, without my words of truth. I have not left you without knowledge, my children. I have made it very clear from beginning to end all you need to do during your lifetime. But the world has turned. You have not walked the right path. And there is great darkness sweeping the earth. There is a generation arising that does not know my truth, my holy words. And there is a great darkness, taking souls to the pits of hell. Walk only in the light, my children. Do not get caught up in the darkness. You must have a life of prayer a life of worship, a life dedicated to me. And I will lead and guide you right to the end. You will see my face in paradise. You will walk into heaven. Your sins will be forgiven through my Son and all he did for you in Calvary. But you must know him during your lifetime. You must be repentant of all you are doing now. Come to me this day, confess your sins. I am a mighty God and I am mighty to save. I want your soul in paradise with me at life's end. I want to see your face before me. I do not want you to be cast out of my kingdom for anahashik in negligence according to my ways because you turned your back against me. Do not walk away, my children. Eternal life is real. Your spirit will one day leave your body. And you will go to a place of darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Or you will go to eternal paradise with me. I want that none shall perish but all shall come to eternal life. I want all to dwell with me for eternity. But you must choose this day. Choose who you pledge your allegiance to. Do you follow the enemy of souls, Satan, the darkness? Will you sell your soul for a few moments of pleasure? I can give you all things. My glory, my glory, Karahashikiti is better than a thousand pleasures on the earth. My presence, just one touch of my presence, and then I promise you will never want to sin again. Allah Rabbi, I am offering my hand towards you this day, asking you to place your hand in mine. I promise to fill you with my Holy Spirit, my presence, my love, my peace, my rest. I am all things good, my children. If you are feeling anxious, afraid, depressed, darkness, incomplete, come to me this day and I will fill you with my light, my love, my peace and my joy. I will set you free from your sins, from the chains that bind you. 
a lot of the addictions. Kashika Takokeya, my Holy Spirit will lead and guide you. My Holy Word, and they will speak to you and transform you and renew your mind. I will give unto you spiritual gifts. We shikarahashika to use on the earth. Lady to get to come closer to me and to Kraha help your fellow man. I love you, my children. Come to me this day. Kinamotora, give unto me your whole heart and soul. Do not wait another moment, for you do not know if you have another moment. For some, their life will end in the next hour. It could be you, my child. If you are hearing this word, do not wait another day. Come to me. Confess your sins. Declare that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Saviour. Give unto him your whole life, your world. Now have us to be born again. Ginyahashi, repent. Confess your sins before me and I promise to forgive you. Ask to be filled with my Holy Spirit. I love you this day, my children, and I'm calling out to you now. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.